Hi, I'm Paul Katz, chef of Harry Carey's. Welcome to Steak Week. Come on in and learn about steaks. Here at Harry Carey's, May 16th through May 19th, we're having Steak 101 week. This is a, a chance for us to educate the customer, do side-by-side -side pairings with food and wine, to enlighten your knowledge so you understand when you go to a restaurant what it is about all the different types of steaks and how it pairs with wine. So on this plate we have a dry-aged Kansas City strip and a wet-aged Kansas City strip. So what is the difference between dry age and wet age? When you dry age a steak, you are controlling time, temperature, and moisture. And what that does is it forms a bacteria on the outside of the steak, drawing all the moisture out at the same time you lose volume of product, which is why the price is so much higher, because you lose about 25% of the yield just by dry aging it, because you have to cut off all that good bacteria that forms on the steak. What that bacteria does is two things. One, it adds tenderness. Two, it adds flavor. When you have a wet age steak, this is also a Kansas City strip, the meat is actually cryovac and it's um, aged for about three weeks in its own juices. That's where you get the wet aging. That also adds to um, the tenderness of the steak, but not necessarily adding to flavor. The dry age is a little bit more intense of flavor, and usually the dry aging project process takes four to six weeks. So that would be the difference between dry age and wet age.